Night Crier by Stephen Mark Rainey. His mother's dull gray eyes were focused inward, her smile wistful. After some long reflection, she looked up at him from her bed. I remember when you were little. You were always scared on Halloween. Do you remember that? Yes, Mom, I remember. It didn't seem to be the trick-or-treaters or the decorations. It was something else. I never really understood it, did you? I can't say I did. It was just a kid thing, I guess. You were always a good son. You're still a good son, and I thank you for all your care. I know so many people whose children don't visit them, even at holidays. It must break their hearts. I try my best. Tell me your name again. It's Bill, Mom. I know I've asked you before. I'm sorry I repeat myself. It's all right. It's frustrating not to remember, but I do remember long ago things, like your dad. I miss him so much. He was a good husband and father, and he was very proud of you. I've always wanted to make him proud. He'd be proud of you now. She looked into the mirror atop the dresser at the far end of the bed, her face beaming as if memories of every wonderful thing in her life had come rushing back. But that would be too much to hope for. Mom was just a shell, a poorly drawn caricature of the loving, intelligent woman she had always been. Her disease was killing him. I'm so glad you're here. It's lonely when you're not. Sometimes I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid, Mom. When I'm not here, you have good nurses staying with you. I don't remember them. She stared into the distance before looking back at him. What was your name again? Bill. Oh, yes, I remember. You know, when you were little, you were always scared on Halloween. It didn't seem to be the trick-or-treaters or the decorations. It was something else. Do you remember that? Yes, Mom. I remember.